hi guys welcome back to my channel today we have a pick a card on what they show versus how they feel we have three pals today as usual pick the pile that resonates with your intuition time stamps will be below and thank you guys so much for watching if you picked pile number one this is your pile stay tuned hi guys if you picked pile number one this is your pile okay we have nature signs divination celebration ten of swords the tower king of cups Page of Pentacles, the Moon, Temperance, Three of Swords. These cards are so hard to pick up because <laughs> I got my little whatever. Queen of Pentacles. The sun. Sorry guys, if you guys like feel like my hands are shaking. I don't know why. They are the magician. Six of pentacles. And four of wands. Okay, so right off the bat, we have a Aquarius in specific, we have a Leo in specific, we have an Aries, a Cancer, a Sagittarius, we have heavy earth signs, and we have heavy air signs, all right? So starting off, what does this person show to you? So what I'm seeing is this person could be very, very secretive with the moon card being here. Of course, this is intuition, but for this reading, I am seeing it as being like someone is just like very secretive. Um, you might find them as like really mysterious. Um, you may feel as if this person is like kind of always beating around the bush. Um, also, I'm getting with the moon card being here this person actually may go out a lot at night or if you guys are no longer together they always went out at night and you would kind of ask them like where are you going and then they will be they wouldn't really tell you type of thing but i'm seeing that this person may um feel really secretive to you okay um with the ten of swords being here this is the indication that this person could definitely um you could have definitely ended it with this person or this person could have ended it with you and it could have been a very harsh ending very harsh words because of course the ten of swords is um their swords so it's like talking it's like perception things of that nature but i'm seeing that this person could have been um someone who was very very um harsh with their words but other than that i'm just seeing that this person definitely could um show you that they really didn't care like they may have even said some very hurtful things to you all right with the three of swords right above that that kind of just shows me so this person was very vicious with their words um they didn't really care basically what they said that they hurt you that hurt you okay um this person i don't know why they could be someone who um say for instance you ask them something and they didn't want to answer it uh, it's like i'm just getting this person is someone who kind of beats around the bush so this could be somebody who basically like when you ask them something and you know if they're very secretive and they don't really want you to like really get the full answer they may even just start an argument with you or just start saying hurtful shit to you so you can basically think about that rather than what you previously asked them okay you guys but i'm seeing that 
um this thing this partnership this relationship whatever it is um this could definitely and it's not um only based on relationships this could be friendships as well this could be family members but this is definitely something that ended in a very harsh way definitely ended with tears okay you guys definitely ended with some type of crying even if you didn't cry in their face you may have went home and be like well damn like you're so harsh like this person may show you very harsh things okay also with the tower being here of course um this could definitely be an Aquarius, but I am definitely seeing that this person could have caused you tower moments by the things that they were saying to you, okay? Because with um, the Knight of Cups being here, this person may have been very charming, and then um, you guys argue, and they just say really hurtful shit to you, and you're like, wow, what the fuck? Like, even if you guys were having, like, a good day, and then something just snaps in this person, and now they're just so super mad, okay? Also, hmm, with the magician being here, I'm also seeing that um, this is kind of like my, my, uh, my manipulation card. So this person as well could be very manipulative. So they could have been very manipulative to you. They could have caused a lot of like, I don't know why I'm hearing brain farts. <laughs> like that's so corny but that's what i'm hearing like they could have like really caused you to like really be confused because it's like they're showing you so many different sides of yourself also this person could definitely be um you know bipolar or have some type of um chemical imbalance within their mind but i'm definitely getting no shade to anyone who definitely does struggle with that and if you are struggling with that my heart goes out to you but of course if you're not doing anything you know if you're not doing things in a malicious way then this is definitely not you see now this person may even come off to be like someone who doesn't even like take responsibilities for their actions or who doesn't even apologize type of thing um with the sun card being here as well of course this is the Leo card, but also I'm seeing that this person could have definitely been someone who is very, very ego driven. So um, a lot of things were probably said out of the heat of the moment because with the sun, of course, that's the heat. Of course, it's hot. But a lot of things were definitely said um, just out of the heat of the moment. This is someone who definitely can argue with you and they won't, you know, you know how you argue with someone and you have those people who just say very hurtful shit just because you guys are arguing, you know, a win at all costs type of person. But I'm definitely seeing that this person um, was very ego driven. So um, they definitely could have felt like with the magician being here, um, of course, this person could have been very gifted. But I'm also seeing that this person could have been someone who was like very braggadocious or someone, I don't know why I'm getting that, <laughs> someone who's very braggadocious. But I'm also seeing that someone ha who has very um, keen mind and manip, it's like I can't talk. So that's another thing. So say for instance, if you were smarter than this person or if you were more intelligent than this person, that could piss them off and that could make them even more mad, okay, you guys? And that could be re the reason why they were so hurtful to you with their words because it's like, what else can they do, right? But I'm seeing with the, ma the magician being here, this person could have been very braggadocious. This person could definitely be someone who feels as if they didn't really need you. So they would just say anything because maybe they had other options or they're in the public eye as well um with the sun card being here as well i'm seeing that this person could definitely have some type of big following they can get a lot of followers on instagram a lot of likes on instagram they could even you know they could just be in the public eye people really are drawn to this person okay and also this is kind of clarified as well with the four of wands because of course the four of wands is like celebration type of thing but i'm seeing that celebration to me is celebrity so this person could be some type of person that was in the public eye they could definitely even be a celebrity as well i'm also seeing with the four of wands this person could have been on some type of tv show this will be for a select few of you but this person could have been um like on a certain tv show they could have a youtube a lot of people watch them type of thing i'm just getting a narcissist <laughs> because usually like narcissists are people like 
when you really know them or when you really deal with them you know how they truly are but when they come off to other people they may come off as very you know skilled and like a great person and i'm not saying this person isn't a great person but we're just only saying what we see in the cards this person could have been someone like when they go around people they're super nice they're super um charming like i said with the knight of cups being here as well <clears throat> okay with the temperance card being here i am seeing that this person could definitely have kept you waiting so this person could have been someone who hurted your feelings or hurt your feelings hurt it is not a word <laughs> they could have hurt your feelings and they would be like so slow to either come back or so slow to apologize if they ever did at all right you guys also with the six of pentacles being here this person could definitely have been giving you things like say for instance um this is also a narcissistic um tactic as well so say for instance um you guys were arguing and um they said some really hurtful things and you know things of that nature or they broke your heart and they cause you a tower moment they may come back in like a couple weeks later a couple days later they won't apologize but they'll buy you a gift or they'll get you flowers and things like that so it's like a continuous cycle all right now how do they truly feel okay so with the tower being here um i'm seeing that this person actually find you to be someone that is very shocking like you probably shocked this person so you could definitely be someone who was very gifted um because there's a flip side to everything so like yin and yang so you could definitely be an aquarius but you could definitely be someone also in the like on um, weather forecast so that's what i'm saying like this person could definitely be someone that's on tv like they can even be like a news um reporter anything of that nature um um I'm seeing a, a media reporter, I'm seeing a weather, a weatherman, um, even a firefighter, all right, you guys? But I'm definitely seeing that this person um, definitely feels like you're someone who is very shocking. You're someone who is very gifted as well, all right, you guys? With the magician being here, you could definitely be someone who is um, into the occult, into tarot, into magic. Um, but I'm also seeing that with the moon being here as well, this is my occult card, of course. But this person, <clears throat> this will be for a small select few of you as well. This person could have been doing like some type of moon magic on you to keep you trapped, to keep you like in this cycle. But that would be for like a very small few of you. But I'm saying that this person finds you to be very mysterious, very gifted, okay, you guys? This person or you could definitely have your own business. And this person definitely finds you to be someone who is very gifted, okay? And they may not, <laughs> they may not like, like that or they may not understand that. And so that's why they kind of blow up on you. Like the tower also like one of you is definitely in the public eye we have like the tower we have the sun we have the four of wands as well so like someone is blowing up okay you guys and if you are blowing up after this happened to you this is your karmic fame all right you guys because you are well deserving of um the, the right attention okay also with the temperance card being here i'm finding that you're someone who is very creative all right someone who is very very um nurturing as well you don't mind building something up from the ground and kind of like just um you know watching it grow you're not someone who does like get rich quick schemes or things of that nature you know you're someone who definitely um understands the law of um karma the law of attraction things of that nature also with the magician being here the magician is a powerful manifester the magician knows how to manifest they know when to do things as well okay and if you're also a person in the occult and you do do magic not all magic is bad all right so if you're doing like moon magic because you can actually do moon magic for like your business and things of that nature you're just someone who definitely knows how to go with the flow go with the cycles also this person could be driven by the moon so that could be kind of like why they're like kind of wishy-washy if if they are okay but i'm saying this person finds you as someone very very um alluring someone who is very gifted all right with the six of pentacles as well this person finds you to be someone very giving okay it's like you give even when people hurt you even when people say shitty things to you even when people do malicious things to you you still find a way to like find the sunshine out of the situation and i'm seeing that with the sun of course like literally 
you are you could definitely be a leo but you have this very fiery passionate energy about you like when you come into a room you bring the sun into the room and this person definitely sees that about you okay with the magician being here the magician it can be like <sighs> interpreted so many different ways because it can be used so many different ways you know um god whoever you believe in they give you these gifts and they kind of um leave it up to you to basically have that free will to do what you please with it of course karma comes into place and if you do use your gifts for the good then you will get good okay you guys and definitely you could definitely be someone who was using your gifts for the good you can definitely have some type of youtube platform you could definitely um be giving a lot of people advice as well and also you could be someone oh i feel like i'm talking so fast you guys you could be someone who definitely um, like gives back to the community, but not only that, I'm seeing that you're, you have some type of business where you give back, okay? And if you are like some type of entrepreneur, I'm seeing that you definitely do give back to charity, all right? With the Page of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups, I'm seeing that you're someone who gives back and it's not in like, okay, I'm going to give back because I want good karma. You do it because you really want to do this and you feel like it's the right thing to do and it's something that you really sought after, okay? Um, also, like I said, with the Three of Swords being here and the Ten of Swords being here, you could definitely be someone who, when you get hurt, like, you just bounce back, okay? So, like, you end the hurt, right? So, like, this is hurt, this is heartbreak over here, and then this is, like, ending it. So, it's like, you don't stay sad for long. You don't um, stay in, like, a deep depression for long. And if you are, it definitely wears off and you're back to your happy, jolly self, okay? I'm also seeing this person find you as someone very nurturing, someone very caring, and that's actually probably why um, they do they do this because they feel like they can take advantage of you, but that's not the case, okay? And definitely if this person was doing this to you and you still have them around you, definitely speak up, speak out, or leave because no one deserves this type of treatment. I can tell you from firsthand, I've experienced things of this nature as well. I've dealt with narcissistic abuse and things of that nature and I tell you this um, once you leave this person you'll feel so much better okay but I'm not definitely not um, in the predicament to tell you oh you know you should leave or things like that because I'm sure you hear that all the time or you've heard that all the time because you know when I was in the situation I would hear it all the time but it takes strength and people don't really understand unless you're in that situation so I commend you for even you know coming on this video clicking on this video things of that nature and even listening to you know to I feel like I need to breathe, okay? So I feel like you need to breathe. So let's just breathe, okay? So definitely, you're just someone who's very nurturing. You're someone who's very caring. This person could also see you as someone that they can have children with, children with and you would be like the perfect mother to their child, all right, you guys? Lastly, just to make sure I've covered everything, I don't know if I did the Four of Wands, but I'm seeing that um, people really like you with the Temperance and the Four of Wands being here. People find you as kind of like the perfect person. You could have like um, a very petite body. You could um, have like really long hair, really curly hair. You could be like someone who's like definitely natural. You wear very natural hairstyles. You wear a very natural um, type of clothing well not clothing very natural hairstyles very natural face things of that nature but i'm also seeing like there's someone who really likes to be outside with the temperance being here as well you could be some type of light worker some type of earth angel you're definitely an impact okay you guys because excuse me a lot of times people like feed like people feed off of people who are of the light okay you guys and that just comes with the territory so don't even you know stress about it or anything like that let that shit ride all right so now let's get into your oracle cards so we have celebration like i said one of you is a celebrity and if you are not a celebrity you're probably supposed to be a celebrity okay this person could definitely be trying to um cause tower moments because they definitely see that in you okay they see how bright you are they see how sunny you are they see how when you come into the room you light it up and um they see that but also i'm seeing with the celebration card i'm seeing that um they find you to be someone very fun okay like they have they actually have fun when they're with, when they're with you it's kind of like the whole world is drawn out and it's just you two okay 
um with nature signs yes you could be someone who's very intuitive also with the moon card being there you're someone who's very intuitive so you'll call this person out on their shit and to make you confused they'll start breaking your heart and saying really hurtful shit like a normal narcissistic trait or whatever okay but i'm seeing that you notice the signs in this person and also the person this person noticed the signs in you that you are a star that you are someone of high influential um status that you can definitely have the power to influence the room the power to influence energy as well and that's kind of why they they try to bring down your energy but definitely don't let this person bring down your energy okay you guys stand out and stick up for what is right and lastly we have divination okay so definitely you could be someone who reads tarot but i see that this person definitely finds you some to be someone that could definitely be their divine partner i have no idea why people fuck over the people that they find to be their divine partners or they find to be like the perfect match for them i guess because like sometimes people feel as if the grass is greener on the other side but sometimes that grass can be artificially colored okay so pal number one i hope you enjoyed this let me know in the comments below a lot of times you guys don't even pick pal one but i know some people will and um thank you guys so much for liking i mean thank you guys so much for watching i really appreciate i really appreciate you guys support and everything for you guys commenting because you guys don't have to do any of this i will see you guys in my next video i love you guys Bye. if you picked pal number two this is your pile stay tuned okay guys if you picked pile number two this is your pile we have protection we have transformation we have fine balance we have wait for winter and we have new beginnings, three of wands, the chariot, five of wands, nine of wands, the hermit. The Fool, Jeez. Queen of Wands, Nine of Pentacles, Strength, high priest all right so right off the bat guys i am seeing that okay we have very heavy we have very heavy fire signs all right we have a cancer in specific we have a virgo in specific we have a double taurus in specific okay so we have heavy earth and we have heavy fire so that's pretty cool so half and half you could definitely be you could definitely have these in your chart as well but definitely heavy taurus energy um and heavy um fire energy all right i also forgot to say a leo in specific okay so what do they show you so recently this person could have moved away from you or you could have moved away from them but this is about what they show you so with the three of wands of course this is expansion but this is like kind of like moving away okay so this is moving away they could have moved away from you with the three of wands being here and right above the three of wands to clarify we have the fool so of course they could have taken some type of leaf of faith and they could have um kind of went on their own path or just kind of like left you out or this person could definitely even be a little farther away from you they could be overseas they could live in a different state than you they can live in a different country than you what have you okay you guys this is also clarified again with the chariot being here making a decision to this is 
Okay, so the chariot is making a decision, but it's also, I'm seeing this as like a car. So definitely like driving away, moving away. They could have left you or you guys could be in separation or they could just have moved, okay? So um, with the five of wands being here, I'm seeing that this person is very argumentative, someone who is very um, combative, someone who has a response for every little thing, okay, you guys? You say the sky is blue, they're like, fuck no. Like, that hole is like blue with like a little tinge of white in it. It's like always a problem with this person, all right, you guys? Also, with the nine of wands being here i'm saying this person could even block you okay you guys or you could have blocked this person all right you guys but um i'm definitely seeing that this person has stopped communication with you or they just stopped being with you or they stopped being around you okay you guys but with the hermit being here of course they could have moved away from some for what they could have moved away because of some type of health issue because the hermit of course is someone who goes within and they study but the hermit also deals with health and things of that nature the physical body and things of that nature okay you guys the hermit is definitely like introspection so they definitely could have moved away to get some type of introspection they could have been trying to come to some enlightenment about something okay also this person could definitely be into astrology with the star being here and um the hermit okay you guys and um i'm seeing this person also like they may wear dark clothes or they may just be like being in the dark a lot so say for instance you guys were um together this could even be a friend like i told the last pal the last pal this is not only about relationships okay you guys this is definitely about friendships family members whoever you're coming to this pal to think about this is your person okay so we don't want to um put nothing in categories on my channel so that's not what we're gonna do so with the hermit being here, I'm definitely seeing that this person, um, say for instance, you walked into a room and you're like, hey, we're about to go somewhere and it's like super ass dark in there. They have like a dark ass room and they wear dark ass colors, which I don't know why that matters, but I'm just seeing that. But even though they moved away from you, even though they're blocked or you blocked them, they blocked you, they're still watching you, okay? They're still watching you. Um, also with the nine of pentacles being here that just kind of shows me that definitely you or this person are single or both of you are single um they could have moved away from you they could have said hey i want to do this anymore like i just want to be single um this person is definitely someone who is very passionate all right you guys so like i said with the five of wands being here i'm seeing that this person is very argumentative like like this person may just be combative and sometimes that's not in a bad way because of course you have debates and things of that nature but this could definitely be someone that you have very like challenging conversations with or like very like challenging just days with at times all right you guys but with the strength card being here i'm seeing that this person could definitely be someone who is very ego driven as well all right you guys so if you were definitely choosing between this pile and number one or if you're a person who usually always picks number two on everything you picked go to pile number one all right just trust me okay um so this person could definitely be someone who is um very ego driven someone who worries about basically what people are um seeing on the outside like i don't know why i'm getting that but this person could definitely be worried um about public image and things like that and if you're not fitting within this if they don't feel like you're popular enough i don't know why i'm getting this but this is what i'm getting then they may move away from you they may cause you problems they may you know what i'm saying they may not like be tamed because with the the girl in this picture is like taming the beast all right you guys so you could definitely be someone who like you have the, the ability to tame this person or to calm this person down and they may not like that <laughs> because this person of course if they're very ego driven and they're they're like someone who really wants attention uh, really wants attention excuse me guys then um of course they don't want you to tame them of course they don't want to be in a box okay you guys and i'm also seeing that as well like with the high priest being here of course this is a spiritual guru but not in this not for this reading of course because it's all dependent on um 
you know, the carbs. Well, not for this side anyways, for what they show. But with the high priest being here, I'm seeing that you guys could definitely have been in some type of commitment, some type of relationship, all right, you guys? You guys could have even been living together. Um, I'm getting really strongly, like this, this pile resonates a lot with pile number one, okay, you guys? But I'm seeing that this person, they just don't like to be tied down, all right? Because that just kind of clarifies <laughs> with the high priest and the nine of wands being right under that as a clarification. It's like when you try to tie this person down, okay? When you try to tame this person, they don't want to do it, all right? They don't want a commitment. This person could have not wanted a commitment. You may have wanted that, all right? You could have been very passionate about that. That could actually have been something that you guys were arguing about. And it's crazy, okay? Because not only do we have that card, which is the commitment card, we have the single card. <laughs> so I'm seeing like legit the arguments were about like singularity like they want to be single right and you may have found this person to be someone that you could have definitely 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 been with but um of course if they don't want to be in a commitment then they just don't want to be in a commitment so they kind of they may have moved away from you okay and also <clears throat> With the Nine of Wands being here, whether you know it or not, you intimidate this person. So your commitment, you wanting to be in a relationship, you wanting to commit, you wanting to tie down this person is intimidating to this person, okay? Because let's be real, okay? Let's be very real. Who the fuck can tame a lion? You need a stick. Like... Okay, if you really think about it, you guys, I'm sorry I didn't have to go all human humanitarian on you or whatever, but like when they're like taming those lions in like the circus or the zoo, that's like animal cruelty. They're not like the animal, no lion is going to be tamed. The lion is the king of the fucking animal kingdom like who can tame a fucking lion but that just shows me how powerful you are because you have the ability to tame the lion all right okay so um with what they feel right they could definitely feel on the flip side <laughs> that you're someone who is very expansive you're someone who helps them expand their mind. So say, for instance, if this person, this person could also be someone who is very fiery, someone who actually deals with some type of anger problems or not. If they don't deal with anger problems, this person could definitely. Sorry, guys, the cards on the floor. Am I, I just got my nose done, so it's hard to pick up, but that's not about it. So um, I'm seeing that. Like, you're someone, not only are you very expansive, you, like, you try to get, like, the best version of this person out of this person, but it's, like, this person is also, I'm getting, they're not willing to change. Like, they don't want to change. Like, so, like, you trying to, you know, force them. I'm not saying that you are, but that's, I, I'm feeling as if that's how they feel about it, and that's kind of why they're moving away, because if someone's not ready to change on their own, there's no way in hell you're going to change them. Like, not me, not you, not their mama, not anybody, okay? Just this person, okay? But I'm seeing that definitely, like, you're someone who's very, um expansive but not only that you're someone who um has foresight so you can see the future you can see and you can understand like okay i understand that you right now you're mad but we just look at the bigger picture you know and sometimes people aren't able to do that and so sometimes it makes them upset and they'll be argumentative with you not knowing that you're just trying to help them okay so with the chariot being here I'm sorry you guys if I'm talking like really fast, but I'm getting a lot of messages today. Like it's just coming like fast. I'm so grateful, but Jesus. Okay. So with the chariot being here, I'm seeing definitely this person feels as if you're someone who makes very wise decisions. Like also, you're someone who is very creative. Like with the Queen of Wands being here, the Queen is the Queen of Wands is very sexy, outgoing, attractive. You get a lot of attention, all right, you guys. Um, this person could actually be very protective of you as well because if you think about it, the lion. I'm just getting the lion, like I'm getting beauty and the beast type shit. Like, of course, this person could be very, very handsome. I'm seeing very handsome cars. Um, if you guys, I'm seeing you guys actually both could be fire signs, cause woo, daddy. I'm saying like 
um, this person knows you're beautiful. They know how creative you are. They know how intelligent you are. They know how, um, you know, expansive you are. And they may be super um, protective of you, especially with the five of wands being here. So that's actually what you guys may be arguing about. So like, they may not even like, they may argue with you. Like if someone's looking at you or if you're talking to someone else or things of that nature, I'm just saying this person is very protective of you, but it just may come off in a different way. All right, you guys. But with the chariot being here, I'm definitely seeing that not only do you make very great decisions, um, you're someone who's very balanced, all right? Black and white is yin and yang. So you're someone who has the ability to make very great decisions for yourself and for others as well, okay? With the nine of wands, this person is very intimidated by you, okay? Because this this is powerful. Um, not only are you very fiery, very passionate, but you're someone who has the potential to definitely, like, with like withstand them because if you can tame the lion lord knows what else you can do okay like that means you're not afraid of the lion so you may not you don't back down from this person like you may not be someone who backs down and everyone else does that and they're like what the fuck like who the fuck do you think you are but keep doing you all right also with the hermit you could be someone who is very very studied all right the hermit is someone who is very studied the hermit knows itself the hermit is not afraid to admit their wrongs and you're definitely someone who does that and if this person is someone who doesn't do that then it's it's like it's gonna be hard <laughs> for them to kind of be around that because a lot of times we want the best for um we want the best for our loved ones and the people that we love but sometimes if they don't want the best for themselves then it's going to be hard for them to realize that you're actually wanting the best for them. They can even be thinking that you're trying to tell them what to do and shit. But I'm definitely getting with the hermit being here. They find you to be someone very perspective. Not only that, you're someone who's very introspective. You're someone who's not afraid to say, I'm sorry if you're wrong. And if you're not wrong, you're not afraid to speak up about it, period. The cards keep falling. So I'm saying y'all keep having fallouts. <laughs> like, y'all come back together and y'all fall out. Because you like, it's like you come back together, you fall out because you guys are arguing and this person wants you to like, you know, be tamed or you want this person to be tamed. I don't even think that you want this person to be tamed. I'm thinking that you just want this person to be the best self that they can be, but they see it as you trying to tame them. And that's totally fine. All right, you guys keep doing you because I like your energy. All right. Um, but definitely with the hermit card being there, you're someone who is a star. Okay. Look at this. It's like... <laughs> also that's crazy i'm getting that like this person wants to keep you like in this fucking lamp like they want to like just hold your light away from everyone and if you're not doing that they're like well deuces you can be single because you're not about to you're not gonna do what i want you to do you're not gonna listen to me you're not gonna shut the fuck up when i tell you to shut the fuck up and you're not gonna shut the fuck up when i tell you to shut the fuck up period and you shouldn't okay um also, <laughs> with the fool being here, now I'm starting to think, y'all, I'm starting to think the reason why y'all argue is because y'all are kind of alike, but y'all are very different. Like, y'all are alike, but y'all have different perspectives. You see what I'm saying? So, say for instance, like, this person's very outspoken, and you're very outspoken. But you're outspoken for the shit that truly matters, and this person is just outspoken just to be outspoken because they want to be, you know what I'm saying? They, it's like when it all costs. The five of wands is when it all costs. Like, they'll say anything to win. They'll do anything to win. Like, anything, okay? Um. Also, of course, I don't know if I already went over the strength card, but we're going to go over the card again because this card is like the center of this reading to me. You have... Uh, Jesus, I can't even put into words. You have strength like no other. Okay, you guys, I'm feeling it. Like, I'm feeling powered up. I'm feeling amped up in this reading. Like, you guys have a very, very big strength okay so you guys are very strong and you make other people strong and that's exactly what you're trying to do to this person but because you're so strong and because you guys are fire and fire it just creates fire you see what i'm saying because fire doesn't cancel out fire it just makes more fire right okay with the high priest being here you could definitely be some type of spiritual guru and it's Especially since it's being clarified by the hermit. You're someone who has the ability to go within yourself and like 
basically get introspection and bring it out so that you can help people and so that you can move forward in a very expansive way all right you guys and that is talent that is pure strength that is pure gold i'm also seeing you're someone who turns anything into gold all right you guys i'm feeling fired up like i'm feeling fired up by y'all reading like for real okay not only that with the nine of pentacles being here you're someone who is totally fine being by yourself if you're not gonna abide by the rules that i want or not even the rules if you're not gonna be like compatible with what i'm saying and i know and you know that you're not like trying to do anything malicious to this person or you're not trying to like hold them down then i'm gonna leave period in this i feel this from your energy you're like i'm just gonna leave then like if you're not you know what i'm saying you're not trying to work shit out you're not trying to stop the fighting i'm going to make a leap of faith <laughs> and i'm going to leap my ass right out your life period all right i'm getting that okay so we have protection like i said this person is very protective oh, protective over you and i see that you're very protective over this person and not only are you very protective over this person you're very protective of yourself so it's like it comes down to am i going to protect you and us or am i going to have to fight you off and protect you fuck no i'm gonna protect myself all right but i'm also seeing that you're protected like you have angels all around you, you have angels guiding you always okay find balance is your next oracle card like that kind of just clarifies with the chariot being here that black and white all right you guys and i'm also getting that this person could even think that you're boring or some shit or this person may even want you to be more fun or so, like this person could actually legit be saying like oh you're just boring like like i just need some more fun in my life like i'm legit hearing that like i'm hearing it <laughs> that's crazy y'all but i'm definitely seeing of like it's crazy because with the book being here i'm seeing that you're someone who's very study like so because you like to study because you have like this foresight because you like to know different shit that other people don't may not seek you know what i'm saying this person may have moved away from you but you see what i'm saying don't ever put yourself in a category for someone else so i'm proud of you guys so if you actually moved away from this person because of that i commend you okay but i'm also just seeing that you're someone who's very balanced okay with new beginnings yes you're someone who's very creative you're someone who's not afraid to take leaps of faith all right you guys you're someone who is not afraid to expand if someone told you right now hey i have a job for you it's in new york and you live in texas or you live in colorado you're like okay let's do it let's do it but you know you just have a very optimistic mind also you could be someone who's definitely pregnant pregnant with ideas pregnant with inspiration because i just feel super inspired like by your reading i feel inspired to say just like the right things in this reading okay but definitely you could have a child with this person you could be pregnant right now also if i did say you could definitely be a virgo we have very strong virgo and in this card i mean very strong virgo in this like reading all right we have wait for winter yes this person or you could be very cold like like y'all might even be cold towards each other but um whatever happened could have happened in the winter time could have happened during the colder months or if you definitely moved away if this person moved away they moved away from somewhere was, that was very warm and hot to someone to somewhere that was cold or to someone that was cold so if they moved away from you for someone else that person is cold as fuck to them okay they're not as fiery and warm as you are lastly we have transformation this is actually my favorite card in my oracle deck because she's beautiful like beauty is her name <laughs> but i'm definitely getting you're someone who transforms anything that you come into so say for instance someone gave you a penny you will make that a dollar or say for instance someone gave you a dollar you'll make it a hundred dollars you're someone who's very like transformative you don't take anything with a grain of salt like you take shit and you run with it all right you guys but not only that i'm seeing that this this situation has the ability to be transformed as well all right you guys so this person may come back in and come towards you and hopefully they could be trying to they could be going through some type of transformation and this is kind of like um this is kind of clarified by the hermit because it's like introspection so like i said at the beginning of the reading they could have definitely be they could be definitely going through some type of transformation as well all right you guys but i'm seeing that you're someone who wants to transform them or you're someone who's just transformative by nature 
you see all these butterflies okay but of course people don't change unless they're ready to change all right so pile number two i really hope you guys enjoyed this video um thank you guys so much for supporting me um leaving your comments below because you guys take the time out of your day to do this and you guys don't have to do this so i really really love you guys i will see you guys in my next video if you picked pile number three this is your pile stay tuned Okay, if you picked pile number three, the final pile, this is your pile. We have go outside. I'm gonna get this up. Okay. We have temptation, flourish, ask for help. Six of Wands, Eight of Cups, Page of Cups, Seven of Pentacles. I feel like my hands are so shaky. Judgment, The Will of Fortune, The Hangman. Seven of Swords, Five of Swords, Ten of Pentacles, Eight of Swords, The Lovers, King of Pentacles and Nine of Cups. All right, guys. So, right off the bat, we could be dealing with heavy air energy. We have a Gemini in specific, we have a Pisces in specific, we have water. So, a Gemini, Pisces in specific heavy air and heavy water right you guys and heavy heavy air right because the gemini is also air all right so starting off <sighs> this person what side do i want to start off let's start with no let's let's start with this this person could definitely be deceptive Okay, you guys, this is someone who plays mind games. This is someone who lies a lot. Like, almost everything they do is a fucking lie or everything they say is a damn lie. It's like this person could even be a habitual liar. This is for some of you. But, like, some of them, for some of you, this person just lies. And then for other of you, others of you, this person is, like, a habitual liar. All right, you guys? Um, For... A clarification of this we have the five of swords being here right you guys so with the five of swords being here that's that's jealousy that's jealousy that's envy this is the card of jealousy and envy all right but not only that this person it could be very malicious all right you guys so this person could be like strategizing like a downfall this could be this person could definitely be like strategizing how to hurt your feelings, strategizing how to leave you out in the cold, things of that nature. Very cruel energy. Also, with the Eight of Swords, this person is like someone who um, could very well be trapped, but I'm seeing that this person could definitely be someone dealing with depression, anxiety, things of that nature. They may not show that at all, but um, with the Eight of Swords being here, this is definitely means sadness. This means like depression, anxiety, things of that nature. But I'm also getting that this person definitely could say things and just do things that make you feel trapped, that make you feel sad, that make you feel depressed, okay, you guys? And with this being clarified by the Seven of Pentacles, I'm seeing that this person, like, during the duration of you knowing them, all right, you guys, or, like, it could have started out very successful with the Six of Wands being here, and then it quickly crept, 
like crept in to be like malicious and just like hasteful all right you guys with the seven of swords being um the clarity and the five of swords being um on top of that as well so it's like this person could also get a lot of attention or you could get a lot of attention but i'm saying that um this person could definitely get um, a lot of attention online or that's kind of like what they seek so this person can definitely be lying about like so say for instance you know how people do things for just like likes and things like that that is this person or they say shit just for likes they say shit for publicity this is someone who does like pu like fucking publicity stunts or what do they call them like is that what they call them yeah so um you guys could have had a falling out because the fire of swords came um you could definitely have um noticed that this person was jealous of you and if you are someone who is very successful someone who is in the public eye someone who does get public recognition this person hates that shit like they don't want you to have that so it's like they say and do malicious shit they could even post it online to hurt your feelings or to be malicious or shit like that all right this is also someone who tells your fucking secrets this is someone that you trust at first especially with the lovers card being here so this could definitely be someone that you were highly in love with that's someone that you found to be like your soulmate someone that you found to be your twin flame even um someone that could even just be you could have been very codependent on them or they could just be codependent on you all right you guys but i'm seeing with the lovers card being here and the six of swords at first this was very successful it was very abundant all right you guys but then she just started turning sour like they just started being very malicious they started lying to you they started deceiving you strategizing against you shit like that like like you get no love all right you guys and this be this could be because you're very loved as well because the lover's card can be taken as legit a um of course, this is going to be taken as literal, like, people love you, you're highly favored, all right, you guys, and I'm seeing that this person feels as if, well, why the fuck should I praise you, why the fuck should I love you, why the fuck should I treat you this way when everyone else does, so that's when the malicious things come into place, ugh, yeah, you guys had a falling out for sure, all right, because all your cards keep falling out. And this person could even want that. They could be trying to cause you tower moments and shit. If you're choosing between this, this pile and pile number two, go check out pile number two as well, y'all. All right, because the tower was actually in pile number two. But um, I'm seeing that with the five of swords being here, this kind of like, this is like clouding the whole reading, all right, you guys, especially for the what they show part. Excuse me. So I'm seeing that this person is like they try to trap you or make you feel like trapped or they could even make you feel like you're not good enough or um, they could be getting um, a lot of attention from different lovers. All right, you guys, and they may make you fight for their love. This is also someone who wins at all costs, like they want to win at all costs. They don't give a fuck what they have to say. They don't give a fuck what they have to do. They don't give a fuck. Like this is someone <laughs> that will do like a get rich quick scheme or some shit like that just to get famous or this is someone who will sleep with people just to get fame or just to get um with this person because they are popular things of that nature i'm seeing that this person really wants popularity and that's going to be for um a certain some a certain select of you guys but i'm just seeing that all right also with the eight of cups being here this person could have definitely walked away from you all right the eight of cups is walking away but this the eight of cups is also illusions all right the eight of cups is fantasies all right you guys so this person could have been giving you like a fantasy in a fucking bottle like i'm hearing genie in a bottle like you could have thought that this person was like your wish fulfillment and that's crazy because we have the nine of cups being here which is a wish fulfillment all right you guys so you could have thought this person was like the true love of your life a wish fulfillment and then all of a sudden this person finds out that you're successful that you really don't need them and they start being very very malicious to you they start being jealous towards you and if you didn't know that this person was je yes they're jealous all right you guys so um this could definitely be a friend this could definitely be a family member as well because like i told the other two piles this is not um centered around love this is centered around friends family um this is also centered around like partners partners of any kind all right you guys we are not putting anything into categories right now 
so definitely also with the ten of pentacles this person could be very very wealthy this person could be very established this person could have a very established family all right you guys this person could even be living off their family name all right and I feel very passionate in this this reading because whenever I see the five of swords and the seven of swords and the eight of swords in the same pile, that's like someone is like praying on your downfall. And I don't mean like praying, I mean like praying. Like they're predators, all right, okay? They're being like predatorial towards like your success, okay? And with the Seven of Pentacles being here, this is something that has been going on for a while. This is someone also that you've invested a long time with. Like, this is someone that you've actually invested your love in. This is someone you invested your time in. Because not only do we have the swords, we have, like, um, every element here. We have fire, water, earth, air. We have them all. So, this is someone you invested your heart, your time, your mind into, all right, you guys? Your mind, body, and soul into, and they tried to fuck you over. So so you walked away period with the judgment card being here as well this could be someone who was very judgmental but let me tell you something this person is judgmental or they may have been judgmental towards you they may have been saying very judgy shit judgy whatever they could have been saying very hurtful shit because they were judging their souls all along because there's always two sides of the story always all right you guys um so also, with the Ten of Pentacles being here, that is also, of course, that's my wealth card, but that's also my family card. So I don't know if I mentioned this because like today I'm getting so many downloads, so I feel like I have to talk so fast, but this person could be living off their family name, all right? So they may be like really jealous that you're successful by yourself or you're, you gain your success like clearly because you're like you know you're talented you're gifted you're beautiful you know what i'm saying you're smart as hell because with all these swords being here not only that in the gemini card being here which is the lover that means you are ruled by communication even if you don't talk even if you stay to yourself you have the ability to communicate i don't give a fuck what nobody says if you have gemini in your chart anywhere highly aspected you are a brilliant communicator you have the ability to branch out and to advance into brilliant communication okay period all right also with the wheel of fortune being here of course what goes around comes around but i'm also seeing that this person you see this snake is a fucking snake anybody around you who is um malicious anybody around you who is jealous anybody around you who is fucking lying habitually i'm sorry like i just feel like i just have to preach on some shit like they're not good for you like literally literally and like you see with like off being being here please correct me in the comments if i'm wrong very nicely please but um you're someone who is very learned someone who knows your shit and like this could actually be why you're successful why you're in the public eye you could be dealing with some type of emotions some type of communication skills all right you guys and of course if you are a gemini you rule communication you rule online communication because as you know um online status instagram facebook all of that shit is communication even if it's pictures all right you guys you know the perfect time and place you are divinely guided because with the lover's card being here i'm seeing that you are divinely guided right you're you know when it, when is the time and when is the place to do things and when it's not the place to do things okay you guys also with the eight of swords being here they could have fucking blocked you all right they could say really hurtful shit to you out of nowhere and just fucking block you and then you're like left and like you're like what because what i'm seeing is with the page of cups being here and the eight of cups being here all right they come into you they, hmm. mm -mm, i'm not gonna go there they come to you all right with this loving energy and then that's how they get you all right and they give you like these illusions they get you all hyped up in your head they get you and especially you guys if you're a pisces because we have the hangman here being a pisces energy in specific all right and this kind of clarifies like they give you these offers they give you these words really charming really saying shit that you want to hear all right because not only is the seven of swords deceit lie 
wise, but it's strategy, all right? This person is a strategist, all right? Because if you're the, if they're doing this to you, you're not the first person they do this to, all right, you guys? And if they learned this, they learned this from someone, and it could definitely be their family because um, it could be a mom, it could be a dad. All right, you guys, but I'm seeing with this being right next to the Ten of Pentacles, they definitely learned this from someone. And also, I'm also getting, I don't know why, I'm just getting so many messages from this. Like, this person is very deceitful with their money. Like, they could be doing some shit. Like I, like I said, I don't know if it was this pile or the last pile, but I think I just said it in this pile. Like, yes, they could be doing, like, shit, like, really deceptive shit to get money, even stealing money. Like, what the fuck? They could be stealing and shit. All right, all right, jeez. Okay, but I'm seeing with the Page of Cups being here, this person will come to you, they'll tell you anything you wanna hear, and then they'll leave you, and then they'll leave you in the hangman mode, because not only is the hangman um, becoming enlightened, but the hangman is li literally leaving you hanging. They'll leave you hanging, all right, you guys? Or I'm also saying you left this person hanging because this shit is fucking disrespectful. But with the King of Pentacles being here, we, I'm definitely seeing um, earth, earth signs. I'm getting Capricorn because Capricorn actually rules the land of the earth, all right, you guys? They are the ruler of the um, earth signs, the zodiac earth signs. But I'm definitely getting this person could um, be big baller, big money, big shot caller, all right, you guys? And this could definitely be why they're in the public eye, all right? They could even get money off of Instagram, all right? But I'm seeing that everything is not as what it seems with this person, all right, you guys? And it's like, I don't even have to get clarity for this shit. Like, I kind of I kind of just know how it's going, all right? Also, um, with the judgment card being here, don't worry. Because whatever they did to you that you don't know, whatever they lied to you about, it's going to come to the light. The judgment is karma. The judgment... The judgment and the wheel of fortune being the same reading, what goes around comes around, all right? Judgment is going to be called on this person. So it's best for you to keep your distance if you did walk away from this person. If this person did walk away from you, it was definitely divinely guided, all right, you guys? You will see why these things come, came into place. Now, let's get into what they really feel, all right? So let's start off with the Six of Wands. If you're in the public eye, and even if you're not in the public eye, they know that if you get in the public eye, you'll be more successful than them. And this is no shade, okay, you guys? I read the cards how they, they come out. I read the cards how they are, period. But I'm seeing that this person, they see, you as, they see you as someone very successful. They see you as someone who gets a lot of attention. You're beautiful, okay? You're very creative. You're very passionate, all right, you guys? Because when you get in the public eye, it's clearly because you're people like what you're doing all right people like how you look people like what you're bringing to the table anything of that nature all right you guys also with the page of cups being here i see that you send this person lots of love all right you guys even though this person is like very malicious they're always lying and shit they're always just being manipulative and shit like that i'm seeing that you're still someone who will come back and if they needed you all right and they were sad in this eight of swords like this person could even have used sadness to get like they could even have used sadness to like rule you back in all right you guys with the wheel of fortune like to keep the wheel turning all right but they definitely see you as someone very loving someone very innocent because to me the page of cups is also innocence all right the pages are also not only are they messages they're like children like the pages are children all right, I'm not saying that you have a, yes, you have a childlike energy to you. All right, you guys. So there's like, jeez, man. All right. Also, with the judgment being here, you see how this person, you could be someone who um definitely plays instruments. You could definitely be someone who loves children as well. You could be someone who has children. But I'm definitely seeing that you're some type of earth angel, some type of light work, some type of empath for sure. You take on other people's emotions, all right? And that's why it's so easy for you to forgive. That's why it's so easy for um someone to do you wrong and then them come back and then tell you like a sob story. And you say, hey, well, you know, I know you did this shit to me. I know you lied about me. I know you did it. But hey, it's okay. It's still give them advice okay 
also with the judgment card being here they don't they're afraid that you're gonna judge them it's like if they left you out in the cold if they walked away from you right now they're stuck they feel trapped they're thinking about it um they really feel sad um they feel kind of like stuck in their head about maybe some type of judgment coming out about them or even about you saying something online about them all right because if they did this to you they may be scared that if you're now in the public eye and the tables have turned which i'm sh which i'm hmm, which i'm seeing they have and if they haven't they will and you will be in this position all right you guys they're gonna be afraid that you're gonna air them out but i'm not getting you are at all okay also <clears throat> With the Eight of Cups being here, you guys, I definitely see you as someone who dreams big. You're very imaginative. You have a very imaginative um, imagination. I don't know why. I'm getting escapism from this, you guys, all right? Because the Eight of Cups as well is my escapist card, all right? So um, not only that, we have two eights in this. That is abundance, all right? But not only that... Um, that's definitely abundance for the things you went through within with this person all right because you have a lot of heavy energy in this but not only do we have heavy energy we have good energy as well okay so also with the ten of pentacles you may have a very close-knit family or you could be someone who is definitely wealthy all right you could be very wealthy by yourself you could be very happy you could be someone who can make shit build shit from the bottom like from ground up and make it a fuck make basically like you turn everything into gold and i'm sorry if i'm cussing so much today you guys um i don't know why i am but whatever accept me please <laughs> but i'm definitely seeing that okay also with the hangman being here you guys i'm seeing that you're someone who is highly highly enlightened all right like even when this person does messed up stuff to you they see that you just like you hang in there you hang in there and that's dope you guys because a lot of people don't try don't have the ability to do that all right and even you see like this guy it's like legit someone hung him his foot is hanging like they try to hang you and like it's like they try to leave you out in the cold they try to say mean shit to you and it only makes you better because of course um pain is wisdom things that you go through is only for learning lessons so it's like you're constantly learning all right you guys also with the will of fortune being here shit goes around and comes around but also this cycle is over i'm sorry to say but also i'm not sorry to say Okay, you guys, <laughs> but with the lover's card being here, I know that this will be hard for you. I know that this is hard for them even because the love is mutual. You guys just show it in two different types of ways, all right? So this person loves you deeply, and that's actually why they feel like they have to be in competition with you. That's why they feel like... um they have to make you trapped because it's like they see so much light in you they see so much success in you they see even if like if you're a person who has the um wealthy family or the tight-knit family and they don't it's like basically they just want to keep you to themselves and i don't know why i'm getting that but it's like they want to keep you to themselves but i'm seeing that you guys have been enlightened about all of this okay you guys and you've chosen with the eight of cups to walk away but I'm seeing this person definitely sees you as their lover. They see you as some type of soulmate. They definitely, they could see you as someone who um, they've experienced many, many lives together. You guys could actually have talked about that. Okay, you guys? And that's, I'm seeing with the Eight of Cups, I'm seeing so strongly. Like, I'm hearing, like, you guys actually having, like, really deep conversations. Like, conversations about love and how much you guys love each other. And then the next day, this person's being malicious and shit. And it's all because they're jealous all right but that's okay you guys okay lastly with the nine of cups being here this person sees you as their wish fulfillment this person knows or this person knew that they you were the person that they wanted to marry you were the person that they were supposed to be with but they fucked it up all right you guys so what goes around comes around all right so let's get into your oracle cards we have ask for help so yeah like i was saying um this person could have came to you to ask you for help or whatever and that was just kind of like to keep you in the cycle because you being an empath you understand how it feels to be sad you get people's um emotions because it's like 
as empaths, we kind of take in people's emotions as our own and we never want someone to feel like if you were someone who was depressed in the past or if you were even someone who struggles with depression, you don't want this person to feel like you. So you're going to help them. But not only that, this person wants your help. They feel like you're a very big help to them, all right, you guys? They feel like you helped them. You've helped their life. You've been a very big, important part of their life, okay? Because, again, the lover's card is a spiritual connection, all right? Not only do we have two eights in this, we have two sevens. The Seven of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords. Spiritual connection. We have flourish. Yes, this person, they didn't want you to flourish, but they see you as someone who's very um, abundant, someone who can flourish out of anything. It's like, um, I don't know what that flower is called, but like the flower that grows out the concrete or something like that. I see that, like you're a flower that grows out of the concrete type of thing. Also, go outside. You could be someone who loves, you could even be a florist. You could be someone who um, gardens, someone who likes to go outside, but I'm seeing that you're someone who goes outside the box. All right, you guys, this person sees you as, as like outside of this world, all right? They feel like there's no one else like you. And if they don't feel like that right now, if they don't realize that right now, like I said with the Wheel of Fortune, it's coming around. They're gonna notice, all right, you guys? Lastly, temptation not only do we have temptation here but we have two snakes it's a snake right here in this picture and it's a snake right here but also snakes are serpents so it's whatever it's like you get it how you live of course it's yin and yang so this person could be a snake to you but you're a serpent you're always bringing knowledge you're always seeing the, the better and the light out of things all right you guys so pile three, this is definitely your pile. Thank you guys so much for watching me. Thank you guys for commenting on my videos, liking my videos, because you guys don't have to do it. All right, you guys. I love you guys, and I will see you guys in my next video.